Good morning. I wanted to try to shoot this video this morning um, on my way to work, driving down through Johnston County. I'm going past a field of beans that I'm pretty doggone sure are Group 7 beans. They're still green, showing no time, no signs of being uh, ready. But we go just a little bit further down, and this particular farmer has planted a multi-variety of beans and I called him and asked him the other day what these were, and he told me they were Group 4 beans. Well, this is in Johnston County, North Carolina. So he's, he's got his beans, he said he did it to uh, stagger out the harvest. And I just thought that was interesting, so I wanted to try to get a video of it this morning while I was riding down the road. We'll see how it comes out. Oh boy, in the fall. Curious to do this after watching Jake Ziegler uh, do a couple of videos while he was driving down the road. My favorite one was when he went to the uh, farm sale, the equipment sale, the auction. So, really hoping this will come out. This is a large field right here. The farmer had tobacco in it this year. He's finished it up and got it out and cut stalks over a little bit. There's a corn harvest that I was watching yesterday. I'm hoping that the uh, farmer has left his uh, equipment sitting in the field. I'd like to get a shot of that as I go by. So we'll stop recording now because there's a few miles between me and that. There's another bean field right there. I've driven this route for about four years and it's the first time that fellow's had a halfway decent field. And that right there is a bean field that the band just let go to weeds. I, I don't understand that. And it did the same thing over here. That's a phenomenal amount of water hemp that he's got in that field. Just unreal. But here is a, a nice, beautiful field. Uh, planted on wide rows. I enjoyed watching this field every morning coming by and seeing how it was doing. Coming up on where they were cutting that corn, I sure hope that uh, combine and yeah, it looks like it's still sitting up there. I'm gonna slow down. So, yep, there it is. Yep, load and auger still out. Good, nobody behind me. I don't know. I don't have any idea whose operation this is, but. There's some corn harvest going on here in Johnston County, North Carolina, and there's what his corn looks like. All right, I sure hope I got that. There's another field of beans just eat slam up with uh, water hemp. So, kind of feel for that farmer. Store that I'm going to show you a shot of right here. That's the essence of the old country store right there. An operation right there, but he sold off some of his land, put in the, call it plant some houses right in there. actually stopped the truck and pulled over to uh, give you a pan of this. Uh, still in Johnston County on the way to work this morning, but this was a field of sorghum. I watched it every day. Now this had the heavy tops on it, but I saw this combine out here yesterday uh, cutting and wished I'd had the camera to get a video of him in action. There was a lot of silage coming out of the back of this machine. It's a real foggy morning here this morning. So you see a lot of haze in the in the air. I'm coming up on a fairly large field here for North Carolina. It's a tobacco field. The uh, farmer's got, I don't know, yesterday I was guessing probably about half of it out of it. Let me get the camera up here. Try to get it angled over at this side. I don't know how this is going to film coming through the glass, but uh, we'll see. But um, 
Cubs had beans in this field last year, and the tobacco, in my opinion, from what I know about tobacco, that tobacco needs to be in the barn. Um, this is a fluke cured area. Tobacco's mostly, well, it's all cigarette tobacco. And here's a section where he's actually got cut out and done. But that, to me, was a, that feels always produced. It makes some beautiful beans in there. A little jealous of that. What we're coming up on now is um, called the Selma Terminals. This is a massive uh, fuel storage depot. These tanks, a uh, million gallons, a uh, billion gallons, I don't know. But uh, maybe that'll give you a shot of some of the little ones that are sitting there, right over there. But uh, these tanker trucks, like that one sitting right there, come down here and fill up. There's some filling over there this morning. There's a, another view of tanks over there and a fill-in station. Uh, they distribute to gas stations where you and I go and buy our gasoline for our uh, cars and trucks. But uh, this, there's some more of the tanks right over there. Another one of the fill-in stations. A few more tanks there. They're on both sides of the road. The road cuts right through the middle of this thing. There's more of the tanks over there. It's just uh, phenomenal what's down here, how much gasoline and diesel fuel and kerosene and so forth. Good, red light. There's more trucks lined up over there. driving along on my way home and I see a rainbow. It's rained down here in Johnston County. I'm at the Selma Terminals and well there it is right up there. I sure hope it shows up on this video because it looks really good to the, uh, to the eye. Well, that's about enough of that.